What it do, y'all? Bread took Rob. Bread took Game Forever. H Town all day. Um, me and a co worker, we were having some interesting dialogue. And we're both black on black, obviously. And it came up that um, as black people, we can't, we can't really, and this is a shame, we can't really show how we really feel about something if we're upset about something because it may be taken the wrong way because of people's preconceived notions. Example, I'm a black man. If I get angry about something in a workplace or in whatever, if I get upset and I'm just, ah, 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 you know, uh, out of control, um, I'm looked at as this angry black man. I'm looked at as this, um, this, 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 this black man, you need to stay away from, he can get violent, he can whatever, whatever. But let a white person or, or somebody of another race display those same actions, they're just having a bad day. Okay? It sucks. That's just the, um, that's just the cross that we bear as black people. Um, I, 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 I don't, I don't know what to say about it, man. Um, that's just what it is. It's unfair. Uh, we just have to deal with it. You can't display your anger the way you would like to. You have to find creative ways to be, you know, to get your point across. Real quick, quick story. I'll never forget. I worked at Harris County, which I think I worked at Harris County in the engineering department, which I feel is uh, a racist department. Um, I remember, okay, I'm in Houston to work for Harris County, whatever, whatever. Um, my party chief, the guy I was working with, I was on a crew. It was four of us on a crew. My party chief was going out of town. So we, so the three of us were being broken up, going into different, you know, going with different people. Um, they wanted me to drive all the way out to, you know, all the way, like 40 minutes from where I stayed, when there was another guy on my crew who lived, like, directly, you know, out there where they stay or lived closer. I just made, I feel like I'm a smart guy, you know, and I deal with logic. I just made a uh, suggestion, you know, and I, I'm, I'm the type of guy, I'm going to speak up about something. I said, hey, um, instead of me, because I live far, instead of me having to drive all the way out here, um, can this guy, you know, come out here because he, like, lives right there? You know, I, I thought we were all dealing with logic. Everything made sense. Um, the guy who was in charge, he was like, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, so he was kind of short with me. And then, watch this, a day later, I was transferred because I was a black man that spoke my mind. I wasn't angry. I didn't get out of shape, didn't disrespect anybody, but... But, but uh, I guess they were in fear of that. I don't know. Anyway, all I know, I, I was transferred. Never raised my voice at anybody while I was there. Never got out of hand. I was just transferred. I guess I was a black guy who, uh, I don't know, maybe I spoke out of term or I said too much or whatever. I don't know, man. But just giving you that example shows you that you can't act out. Hey, man, if you're a black woman, and you get frustrated and you act out, hey man, you're known as that angry black woman. If you're a black man, you get angry and you, uh, you're known as that aggressive, over-aggressive black man that can get violent at any second and people are scared of you. So you have to find creative ways to get your point across. Me, um, I love sarcasm. Um, and I can be a dickhead and I'm proud of it. I use that to my advantage, you know, if, if something, you know, and I do it, you know, I know, I know what I'm doing. When people try to, you know, get over on me or try to put me in positions I don't want to be in because I'm black, I just use sarcasm. Oh, man, I would love to do this for you. Yes. Oh, you know, and they like, yeah, yeah. and you know, I'm keeping a straight face. Yeah. Oh. Ah, uh, you know, what you gonna do to me? I'm not, I'm not angry. I'm not violent. I'm not, you know, hey, 
Just sarcasm. I don't like it. I'm grown. I don't have to like what you tell me to do. I'm not your child. But we just have to be creative and we have to watch how we, um, watch how we handle ourselves in public because people already have, um, preconceived notions and, and, and they just think that we're all a certain way because of these images they see that are displayed on TV and, you know, or wherever they see what they read about, which they're, you know, not all of us are dumb. Not all of us are ignorant. You know, just like white people. I'm sure not all of you are racist. You know, it's the same thing, right? Or any other race, you know? Like, you know, with Muslims, Middle Easterns, I'm, I'm sure not all of you are, uh, you know, gonna, you know, blow things up and stuff, right? You know? And I'm just, I'm just having honest talk here. Whatever. You know, bread tuck game forever. H-Town all day. I'm just putting the truth out there, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Y'all mucho, thank it easy. Bread tuck game forever.